It is our great pleasure at Berkeley to host the 2016 Times Higher Education World Academic Summit. Personally, I try to help humanity evolve at scale. Part of the uh, LinkedIn, uh, the consumer internet, is how do you affect how hundreds of millions of people can change their own circumstances, can invest in themselves, and can actually have happy and productive lives. the intellectually most stimulating um, conferences I've been to in some time. This is not a government agency, right? But I showed up for free, and a lot of other people showed up for free. It's really significant because we've taken an approach that we think evaluate schools the same way that parents and prospective students do. We focus on metrics that we think are most important to them when they're making the decision of where to go to school. These are the underpinnings of a great education. And very importantly, for the first time ever, we're incorporating the voice of the students into these rankings. Actually listening to what students are saying about their colleges, about their schools, and taking account of that when we establish how well a college is doing. Given this is the week where, given this is the week we're meant to be learning the lessons of the last election, let, let me read a lesson from someone, frankly, I rather miss, Mr. Ed Bulls, who wrote this this week in the Times Higher Education Supplement, and he said this, we clearly didn't find a sustainable way forward for the financing of higher education. If the electorate think you've got the answers for the future, they'll support you. The University of Exeter's governing body has set very clear targets about where they want us to be nationally and internationally. Now internationally for them is the big prize. So for the last decade or so, we've monitored all the available world data. Um, and the one the university governing body asked us to map onto and set our objectives with is the Times Higher Education World University rankings. So for us, understanding where we are in each ranking, why we are where we are, where we're going and then how do we improve is central not just to the governing body but also to the view of our university community about how we become as good as we really can be and for us that's success in the Times Higher Education World University Rankings.